Speaking of AV, I mean, he did take home the Conn Smythe Trophy given to the postseason MVP. He's the first goaltender to win the award since Jonathan Quick did so for the Kings back in the 2012 Cup run. Uh, do you think he was the right pick here, AJ? Well, I think there's a couple of factors at play. At first, I'll say yes, 100% he was the right pick here. You're talking about five shutouts in, in the postseason on the way to the win. The fact, you know, that they acknowledged it last night, uh, Gary Bettman did, that he started every single game for back-to-back -back title uh, t titles here. I mean, that's just incredible. Um, you know, the, the Penguins, when they repeated in 16-17, used multiple netminders, so the, the durability factor – the every night reliability on it. I, I absolutely think he was the right choice uh, for, for the, the Conn Smythe. Could they have gone in any other direction, Jeff? Or was it, the, he was the no-brainer? I mean, you, you know, Kucherov had a nice postseason. It's amazing that he came back and, and was so productive after not playing anything in the regular season. Again, I just, uh, you know, that really caught me by surprise. But look, Vasilevsky won the Stanley Cup, you know, in the bubble the year before, and then he actually improved on his numbers this year. You know, he bumped his save percentage up 10, 10 points, uh, 0.1, yeah, 0.10 points, essentially. He, he had four shutouts, which was four more, or five shutouts, which was four more than, than it was than he got last year. He had the same goals against average. Like, it's ridiculous. Like AJ said, this guy's started every game the last two years. I mean, you got to give him some recognition. Absolutely. This was pretty much the, the biggest no-brainer uh, of the bunch and if you'd heard us talking you know we even liked you know when, when Vasilevsky was getting into like the you know minus 120 odds for the MVP just because it seems so obvious uh, especially when Tampa got up so yeah well deserved um, probably did get snubbed for the Vezina but he probably doesn't care very much right now either so